Well, so here we have it. The nasty sketchbook. The ugly sketchbook. Well, so it is not really that ugly. It's just like called so because I use it mostly for the... Well, for my sketches, but it didn't start as that. It was actually... Well, my daily sketchbook, and you can see, like, the first date is, yeah, in 2021, 2021, well, so I started it as a daily challenge, and I was painting in this manner with acrylics and colored pencils, so I first made a sketch with uh, colored pencils, and then I was adding, well, acrylics on top, and, well, it was going pretty well, so you can see, like, everyday sketches, um, going pretty nicely, this one, I didn't like it at all, um, this one, I don't know, questionable, <laughs> though, so, um, these... I did like it at first, but not really, then, well, I was in a dark mood, probably, <laughs> yeah, as everything ended up so, well, dark, mm, well, I think I was watching Shadow and Bone back then, well, this one I still like, yeah, these parrots, it looks quite nice, as for me, uh, and these, oh my god, I do so, I don't remember the name of this plant, but I do so low how it ended up with this, like, the colors popping up on the gray background, so it was nice. You can see I even stopped dating it because I, well, I grew bored of it, like the same style, so, well... It was like the last one fully done then i have started this one and i made it and i didn't exactly like it so the next page you can see it glued you can see i've started but i didn't finish i tried it with markers so it bled a little bit here and i don't know it was kind of like a little bit strange yeah so and i stopped so, oh, the sun just went somewhere, <laughs> I don't know where really. I've just started from scratch uh, in 2022, how was it? That was the end of the 2022 and I decided to explore styles more. So this is actually um, a little bit of uh, soft pastels and uh, acrylics. Not that I liked it a lot. I didn't feel like it's quite uh, an original piece. Then we got here this pomegranate and uh, well, I did like it at first when I tried it out. I never posted it actually. I probably have somewhere still the video of how I was painting it but I never included it, it in any of my videos. So then, uh, it was a funny story, I made this, first of all, digitally. Then I decided to paint this piece. I saw a woman, I saw a woman on uh, the train. <laughs> And, uh, well, she was sitting in this, like, puffed, uh, puffed jacket, and I think I made the digital piece way better than this one, because it lacks this, uh, well, puffed jacket, and, uh, yeah, it's just, like, froggy bakery. Yeah, so, yeah, well. Uh, then this was, um, a New Year 22 piece. Uh, well, with some of my mom's, yeah, like, Christmas ornaments, yeah, New Year ornaments. Well, and it was made with oil pastels, so kind of like 
as for my taste as the beginning uh, when I was just like getting back into the whole idea of art it was not bad oh nice it's visible yeah the legs of my tripod oh here that's gonna be better <laughs> well so then I painted those daisies once again acrylics plus a little bit of I don't remember if it's soft pastels or oil pastels but something like that well then there was a blank page nothing happened uh, well the paper is very thin yeah it's like like very thin I have this sketchbook like literally from my high school uh, my mom gave it to me like well, my mom is the sponsor of my sketchbooks, mostly. Yeah, she was back then. And, um, well, I decided that it's gonna be good as I bought some, like, regular uh, color pencils to try something out. And I actually do like those tangerines. They look sweet. Yeah, and then I had this spread. Uh, as I've already said, I remember what I was watching back then. And I was watching... I guess Star Trek uh, Deep Space Nine <laughs> and I don't know like it gave me this vibe of like well orange desert yeah so well kind of like not the best one but still I did like that well i hope it's gonna be better this way so i was trying so hard to combine like cartoonish style and the realistic style together in the drawing of the snails and i did like those so much i think it's it's still one of my favorites once again watching deep space nine i think it looks like quite outlandish with these like weird stems so i did like it and I do so love these mushrooms and the snail. <laughs> so cute. Yeah, this spread is one of my favorites. Then mm, some swatching. I think it's not original. I think it was either some Pinterest photo. Maybe it was a photo. Maybe it was someone else's art. I was trying like to combine I don't know what was I trying. I don't know what 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 was that at all. Absolutely. Well, I don't know what was it. Just some study. Oh, this is definitely not original one. I was trying to be more expressive and to study more expressive styles with the colored pencil and I swatched some of the markers here too. Okay, so I did like those apples, yeah, and uh, I added some details, uh, well, digitally uh, as I scanned this page, but I do love them so. Well, then we have this interesting time <laughs> Yeah, I was still trying to be more expressive with my color pencils, and then here we have some of the collages. Yeah, so mm, they are not pre made, like the paper is not pre made. I made it myself, I, like I colored it, and uh, well, after that, I just, yeah, uh, well cut the necessary details, yeah, and then glued it here, yeah, so, well, I've counted, and this was like, approximate, I think more than 50 pieces, but I still was not satisfied, it kind of like looks stiff to me, so, well, uh, these sunflowers, this is one of the wonderful pages. I do love it so. So you can see we are yet to get to the ugly stage. <laughs> I was still using it mostly for like number one <laughs> works. Yeah, so uh, and uh, I do love it so. I actually made it into 
wallpaper and was using it for some time. Uh, it was still here, still life. Uh, I do like it though. Uh, don't remember the artist. Uh, I wouldn't lie to you, but it was some sort of do this in your style, draw this in your style level. So I will mention the artist. Uh, a study of the landscape, if you know, you know, I'm still struggling with landscapes. Uh, then we have these cute bunnies. Yeah, that was uh, um, something connected with friends. Uh, challenge yeah i will write that down yeah so um once again draw this in your style i'll mention the artist mm. no it's a lie it's not i was inspired by um this like little cottage like lonely cottage i do love those probably after my travels yeah to norway and sweden I did love those so, and I like them, so, um, well, poppies, I don't know. So, poppies were inspired by the photo of the felt. Yeah, then this was, once again, yeah, the prompt yeah, for some challenge, and uh, it was acrylic plus gouache though um, i don't know kind of like do like it but at the same time not really so it's unfinished one it's diplodocus <laughs> who wants to have fun too so kind of like strange but it looked so stiff to me so i never went through with it so these are uh, robin eggs and uh, i do have the color though yeah it was like remake of my old piece uh, i will show the photo of that uh, once again landscape study no comment <laughs> i don't know i just like i'm struggling with landscapes uh, then this one i do love it so it's so cute yeah, so it's the piece, yeah, with colored pencils, and I adore it. So, this page was sketching for LMIS uh, greenhouse zine, and I was choosing between peas and uh, tomatoes, but I stopped uh, with these two cute radishes. You actually can see it well printed yeah mm, well here we have soft pastels these were flowers that my mom brought to me from her garden well and it's lovely and i used baking paper to protect it well this way we got a little bit of unexpected sun and here I didn't like this one, so here you can see it's kind of like going already a little bit into a decline, so I didn't like this piece. Mm. Then I've tried some markers, and uh, of course they very well bled through. You can see, didn't like it actually. Then this is still here, still live gouache. Oh well, this is the first video on my channel, and here I'm trying for the first time art creation, so it was actually in this sketchbook. I wasn't sure about this video, so it just was the first try, and uh, well, kind of like turned not bad. Then uh, this was some sort of prompt, although, well, I don't remember <laughs> what was the challenge, if I find it. I'll mention it. Then, well, I wanted to draw some raccoons. And the thing was, this is actually this. It, if I'm not mistaken, that's summer stories or something like that. So, and I didn't like the way 
the raccoon turned out in original painting. So I decided to study and I became obsessed with raccoons. I do like this cartoonish one and also this one. I don't know, this gives such a Disney style, like extreme. This was the final piece. And well, I think I've never posted it. I didn't like it either, but hi, it's me. I'm the problem, it's me. Well, so um, these are roses from my mother's garden and uh, this is lilies, once again, from my mom's garden. Uh, I was just like sitting and uh, drawing with colored pencils. Uh, then this was like the idea of some small uh, daisies. Well, this was a tiny sketch that I made for Summer Stories Challenge. Uh, once again, just a sketch. It's It was the period when I started sketching here. Uh, well, then we have... It's like a finished piece. Oh, nothing special. I just had to fill in the page with something and I come, came up with this idea. Uh, well, this was for my portfolio, which actually I've never came through with it. So, just some variants. Oh, this, is, this was weird. <laughs> I don't know what I wanted. This is just like scrap from other sketchbook sketch for <laughs> my sister's school project. Well, then I went uh, sketching outside and uh, I saw these cute uh, pigeons, even though, I don't know, like, the pigeons around my house are ugly because they, well, they eat kind of like in the trash, but in the park they're just so lovely and so cute. And then I saw this little oak baby. <laughs> I don't know how it's called, <laughs> yeah, well, and uh, I did like it so much. Well, then I was deciding how I want to draw cats and cat eyes. This is when I finally stopped at these round eyes, yeah, and these were some of the sketches. Well, then the peach toba started and I made these like small squares to make like thumbnails and uh, like just the general ideas of uh, peach toba here are more detailed sketches. Some of those I like way more. For example, um, the dragon is way more expressive. That always happens with my sketches, like that they're like way more expressive, yeah, than the original pieces. This was a piece for my birthday. Yeah, once again, like the Inktober, like Inktober, Peachtober uh, prompt and some swatches. Yay! So here we have. Uh, this was actually the other one for mask. I chose. Another variant, um, Boulder, once again the other one, I made it with this one and you can see how wonderful the sketch is, while the original piece was trash. Okay, well, so this is from the lantern prompt, this is the famous <laughs> boiling froggy, yeah, so some expressions that I chose for the uh, volcano, yeah, and uh, well, so here are some ideas for the cat prompt tail, here we have it, then some of the details for the prompt town, yeah, this, this was, uh, I tried to draw a frog, yeah, traveling frog. Oh, this is my sister. I just saw her eating a bun and, well, she got very upset with this uh, little sketch. And that, this is like a study for my snake painting. 
well, once again, peach toba here. Well, I actually did like this idea with boots, but I just uh, decided to change it. Yep, um, practically everything from here just ended up as it is. So here are the variants. Yeah, that's a little bit ugly. It looks like a duck to me. Uh, well, the greedy prompt. Well, the prompt was trunk, but it's a frog sitting greedy frog. I used this one to trace it into my, well, sketchbook. Then we have this uh, prompt and I think it was wing. Yeah, and I'm epic. I have the very uh, strange habit of dramatically closing my sketchbooks and you can see the result. Uh, well, this was like a small part for the rocket prompt. Uh, ducky, yep. So here we have, yeah, like the duck traveling on the bottle of soda as if it's a rocket. Then we have a little, yeah, uh, bun. And I had like a lot of ideas and I stopped with this one. A big bun eating a little bun, which is kind of like creepy. I don't know why I came up with this idea, but I was on the call with a friend and, uh, well, it kind of like was, I would say, rather fun, I would say, which is like fun sketching and I came up with this idea, so I painted it. Then we have the Brussels, like the Beatles. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, the Brussels sprouts for the prompt sprout and then we have yeah these last prompts yeah I was finishing them I guess already later than the end of October so here we have it it's like the last page with the sketches for uh, Peach Toba prompts, yeah, like little details, yeah, and then we have, oh, it also for the Peach Toba, yeah, so the pots, and what was the prompt? I think it was, oh, plant, plant, yeah. So here we have a page with me trying the new style of, well, drawing people, and uh, well, uh, actually, this was for the real, like, uh, I have three looks, yeah, it's like a homeless man, yeah, hooker, and a 12-year-old boy, yeah, so, well, I do like it, oh, it turned out nice, so, um, here is a piece for pomegranates, well, which didn't go well, then, there is, uh, this is still here, still life sketch, and well, this is a sketch for a slump season froggy, and then we have a hot dog, never finished this one. Well, so here we have some of the other sketches, and you can see I've completely transferred yeah, to the sketches, yeah, so, mm, well, here we have the Louis Mouton, for my real uh, Gucci <laughs> snake, and this is uh, this is a draw this in your style by uh, Katy May. So this is for the winter prompt. This is sugar plum winter challenge. <laughs> yeah, so this is sugar plum. Then I don't remember what was the prompt. Uh, the, this was a funny story, actually. Uh, the prompt was hearth, but I somehow read that it is hot. Well, that was strange, and I don't remember what was. I think warmth or something like that, so that was the prompt of it. Yeah, so, well, then this was a little sketch for my well, a uh, punch needling project, a little rug, and this is like homebody, yeah, 
sketch i'm yet to do that uh well and this is my mom <laughs> yeah this is like a sweet sketch of her yeah so these are some sketches for some well for something i don't know what was that yeah so and here we have some uh, i will write the name of the challenge i don't remember so uh, i've made this one no made this one this wasn't made it was a little bit late oh yeah long tailed tit was a very popular one <laughs> so uh, then was i was trying out the markers for my 2023 page uh, this was for a real a metal animation yeah and the sun blinding everyone here yeah so this is i also made it yeah to it made to my well sketchbook so well, so here we have the famous one yeah this is self love kitty yeah this was the original sketch and i do so like this pigeon it was so expressive but in original piece i don't know why it never quite transfers the way i want it to We're slowly moving with the sun here is the prompt from 52 weeks of sketchbooking uh, by Rafaela. I will uh, mention her in the description. So uh, it's like her personal yeah, challenge and I decided to jump in. Yeah, so that was <laughs> quite cute. I studied like cute rodents. It was supposed to be a rat, but it looks more like a mouse. So, um, well, these are the mushrooms, yeah, I did love them so, yeah, and I decided to add some, well, eyes, because, well, mushrooms do need eyes, though. I so want this one to be made into big painting, like, I don't know, maybe A3 size, but I actually, uh, I never actually, yeah, uh, finished it. It's it is only a sketch. It's actually the reference photo is very popular on Pinterest. Yeah, this was do this in your style. Yeah, so we have yeah for Fanguary sketches for Fanguary, and well, I don't know why, but my sketches are always so so expressive. Yeah, while the original pieces, like finished pieces. They lack something, yeah, so something is lost in transition. Well, this is do this in your style. I will mention the artist, never posted it, never made it. Uh, a little idea. <laughs> this is chicken burger. Uh, probably you've seen it on my Instagram account. If you haven't, well, it is once again dark. So, well, you can check it on my Instagram page. Well, uh, this is do this, draw this in your style, yeah. Uh, and uh, here, yeah, there is uh, a page. I started it as a February fourteenth full sketch. Well, like a little evil Valentine's. Yeah, I do like these. Yeah, little devil person. <laughs> Well, then we have these sketches for a real, like a little animation. Well, I am mostly the tradition. I am mostly the traditional girl, and I usually need to sketch out, yeah, on the paper before I trace it to my digital sketch. Well, so here we have uh, some sketches for, well my reels yeah so this was this trend uh poet soldier and the king yeah this was for the story of my hair <laughs> you can see separately and this was a sketch for my 1k of the followers yeah which was like long time ago 
<laughs> Not very long one, but it seems so. Oh, this was a character design project. Mm, I was trying to create this one for a contest, but well, I afterwards realized it was not the type of character that they were looking for. <laughs> Definitely. So, mm, well, uh, here, yeah, we have some ideas. <laughs> I wanted to make this Jane Austen kitten for the real. Yeah, it was a trend for some time, but I was quite busy back then and I didn't manage to finish it. Yeah, like, oh, kitty tapping little paw. Yeah, these sardines, sleepy sardines, yeah, they are part of my sardines spread in my sketchbook. Uh, well, then we have, yeah, that's uh, a sketch for the animation. Never made it. Oh, well, that's from my video. Yeah, drawing digitally. Uh, burp froggy. I'm going to make this one, <laughs> yeah, into like a real one, into a real drawing, painting, I'm not yet sure. Yeah, so, and I wanted to draw a dinosaur skull, I wanted to mention it. <laughs> uh, well, then this is a sketch of the fish, yeah, uh, of the goldfish for my Hemi test, yeah, Hemi gouache test, so, well, you can watch that video, actually. Yeah, and this is the last page here. This is my draw this in your style, so here I tried out, yeah, some of the hashtags that I was thinking of, and, uh, well, uh, the cup is a little bit asymmetrical, so that's why I decided to well, draw it digitally. Why? Well, because I was afraid. I wanted everything to be perfect. It was my first draw this in your style. And I wanted it to be like as symmetrical as possible. So I made it digitally. The sketch, I usually sketch out well, traditionally. So it's kind of like all. Yeah, it has like one page left, but I wanted to stop. At this point, like a massive one with hitting 3K. Uh, well, now it's <laughs> already more than 4K, but still. Well, I was excited to finish it, and this is like the second one that I finished. And now I think I will always keep an ugly sketchbook because it makes me feel free with using it, and uh, I like it so much. So I hope this video was useful for you and uh, interesting and I see you next time in the next video see you bye